sidewalk and be safe because you don't know what you're coming up against. I mean, the sidewalks are raised up three, two, three, four inches. It's all the trees are pushing them up. Because we had the recession, sir. sir. Yes. We're going to be consistent, but the very first street view I looked at, and this is, it looks to be 24730 on Robin. No, I'm 24631. No, this must be one of the neighbors. What I'm saying is, the first picture I, I saw, there's about this much of a gap. Um, some other deterioration. So normally, right, we'd have the concrete, the sidewalk uh, process, and it kind of goes around to different neighborhoods. Uh, I think the follow-up on, on this would be uh, to, to target that that uh, neighborhood. So I have to say that you're, uh, you know, the sidewalk is the responsibility of the homeowner. It is. Um, but I do believe that those roads are part of that, what we approved last the last time anything was taken care of in our subdivision on the sidewalk was uh, 2002, and it was a, call, a company called Gaglio. Yeah. And they put down substandard materials, and I mean, it's, everything that they've done is not what considered you should be. And I understand a lot of things go on, but it's just to the point right now where everything is such a tripping hazard for me. I've been trying to get a stop sign. I've been trying to get a, a, a study on the corner because the yield sign in front of my house one on uh, Bailey, but then coming off of Bailey coming around, there's no stop sign. So I mean, you know, I'm, Mr. Jones, I live, I live with my ears to be able to cross the street because these people, it's like an autobahn, you know. But I've been, been trying, and I just, I just want somebody to come out and help us out too, you know. The homeless, that's a whole different situation. I don't have to deal with that. But the streets and my walking and uh, not living in my house, it's. It's a little hard after being an active guy and you're losing your vision. So I mean, that's really all I'm asking for is that somebody come out and do a serious address on it. You can walk across the street from me and just start walking down Bailey. And there's probably four trees sitting right there and the sidewalks are like this. Councilman Johnson. Uh, to the administration, through the chair, uh, we had talked before. I think it's time we do a sidewalk. I mean, when I was walking the streets during the election, the, the sidewalks are bad. And, and I understand it's the responsibility of the homeowner, but it needs to be done. It absolutely needs to be done. Well, all right. It's, sir, I would much to be consistent. If there is somebody else that wants to be recognized at this point in time, okay, that's fine. I want, fine. I want to recognize them. Would you like to come back up afterwards if you have some questions? No, that's fine. Because I, just, I think I get my point across. Yes, sir. It's the point that just. Don't keep putting things on a bad burner and put a band on it. If they're going to go in there and fix it, fix it right so that you don't have to have these conversations with uh, homeowners like us anymore. It's already taken care of. You know, they can take you $350,000 for the place tape and you give our whole subdivision. Exactly. You know? And then you're not going to have all these people sitting it's up there anymore. It's but I thank you very much, Council, for taking my time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, okay, so a couple of things. Is this street one of the streets that's on the list for the uh, paving? Is it in that area? I'm trying to think where, where that is. Please come forward. Robin and. Uh, Good evening, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Mayor, uh, members of the council. So I have been through that subdivision. I'm very well the intersection you're speaking of. I remember when I first got here in March 21, I got with some other city departments to evaluate if the yield sign could be put in that intersection, and it was deemed it was not eligible to have a yield sign put in. There are a number of concrete roads in that subdivision that need to be improved. However, as we all know, there's limitations on what we can do and what we can. Our fiscal budget for concrete allows us to do about six city blocks. City of Taylor is very, very large. So to answer your question, the, what we approved in the last council meeting is to resurface all the asphalt roads in that subdivision. The area the gentleman is speaking of is one of the concrete roads in that subdivision. So I agree it needs to be improved. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the mayor said it correctly that the sidewalks are the residents' responsibility. I don't doubt that a sidewalk replacement program is justified in the city. It would be very difficult to determine where do we start that program, and it's a lot of effort to make a program and get it off the ground. So it need to happen, yes. Hopefully we can get there in the near future. We're going to allow the asphalt contractor to go through the subdivision and get all the asphalt roads resurfaced this year. My plans are to go in there next spring and 
start trying to attack some of the concrete roads. Be, please be mindful that it may take three or four years to replace all the areas in need in that subdivision based on our fiscal budget. But I will meet with the gentleman after the meeting and get his information. I will personally go meet with him and walk through their concern and make sure they're right. Council. Uh, is there, are there signs there about um, you know, letting residents or letting drivers know that there is someone that flies in that area? I am not sure. No. no. So how would someone go about getting I will put that in motion and give it to the administration. Yes, if it's validated, I will give that to you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, Mr. Mayor, you've done or does it have to be through my council? I believe, because that's the city of Road, I believe I can get with Ralph and Laney and yourself, and I think we can put that in place with the assistance of the police department if it's justified. I don't think maybe. Thank you. I think one thing that we have to be aware of is the subdivisions that are 50, 60 years old that were built properly, built with concrete, have been subsidizing what the city has done to pave dirt roads. That's reality. And now the expectation is those that formerly lived on dirt roads, they want theirs repaved every five to 10 years. But the concrete, that bill is coming due. And we, quite frankly, haven't done anything in the, in the concrete neighborhood in 50 or 60 years. Maybe some of the good to great, we've done some panels, but when bulls go bad, the only additional way is either they have additional road revenues or specific bonds for specific areas. Um, that's the reality. Not to talk about how difficult my job is, but when I go off these subdivisions, I have to decide where to stop and start. When I, mean, I can do the entire street and probably three adjacent streets to it, but we don't have the fiscal budget to do that. I need to go into all these subdivisions and try to get the catch bases that are failing before they become sinkholes. So it's a constant shuffling of where the priorities are. They're all priorities. We just can't do them all. Yeah. All right. Uh, this gentleman's been waiting patiently. Thank you. Good afternoon. Sorry about the last time I came off. I appreciate when it. I, when I talk to somebody, I thought I was talking to the man. I was brought up. You shake the man's hand, you look him in the eye, and you talk to him. That's me. That's the way I was brought up. That's what I do. Now, however, I keep hearing that everybody's hands are tied. Okay? When both of us, maybe not so much so you guys, because these guys have been there for 40 plus years, but me, and the other people that were here, when we bought our house, we looked at the fact that we don't have to deal with somebody growing pot next door to us. We don't have to deal with a predator moving in next door to us because we're that close to a school. Okay? That's that type of stuff is not allowed within so many feet of the school. How is it that a mental health issue, a mental health crisis, is allowed to open up within 100 yards of the school, directly across the street from an old folks home. There's some backdoor business going on here that needs to be addressed because people are aware of it. Yeah, it's slowed down. Yeah, people have been cleaning up a little bit here and there, but the World Series is going on. Who would want out of town to see what, our, what kind of condition our city is in? And, you know, I work all over the state of Michigan. Trenton doesn't have this problem. Woodhaven doesn't have this problem. Canton doesn't have this problem. I am all over Southeast Michigan and all over Michigan, period. And this is the worst in the state. Aside from Lincoln Park and Detroit. It's a shame that our city is coming to this. And, you know, everybody's hands are tied. Nobody's hands are tied if I put my camper in my front yard. If, you know, if I have a drink in public, I'm going to get messed with. But hey, I'm a productive member of society. How come I don't have civil rights? You know, everybody made this about a mental health case. 
It's not. It's a location issue. Do these people need help? Hell yes, they do. It does not need to be within 100 yards of the school and Absolutely. Are, are directly across the street from the old folks' home. It's almost like somebody is directly targeting the children and the elderly of our community. Is this something that everybody here wants to stand up for? That's what it looks like to me. Sir, certainly understand your concerns. I understood them at the last meeting. Um, take a bit of an exception where you cast the dispersions saying that this is being done intentional. Certainly it's not the case. We've heard the, the concerns from the citizens, as the uh, police chief has said. We have to be well, aware of I watched the video. I watched the video from the last time. Yeah. Right? Afraid to go stop somebody from taking a piss, but when somebody walks out of here pissed off because they're getting smoke blowing up their butt, the right. chief's gonna right. grab his gun. I would I'm you're I, I you're, you're beyond video. you're beyond the three minutes. You're beyond okay. the three minutes. Thank you. Well, have a good night. Hope okay. you guys can sleep tonight. Please come forward. This back door sheet. 